Revelation 3453. From the 1st of March 1945. If you are gathered in my name. If you gather in my name, I will be in the midst of you. I have also given you this promise and it will be fulfilled to the letter, for your thoughts, which are meant for me, draw me to you because they are born of love for me and I will always be where a child's love longs for the father. And where I am there is peace and bliss which your soul well feels, even though the body is restlessly touched by the adversity of time. Yet your souls are with the Father if you gather to hear my word. And thus I myself speak to you through the mouth of men, and you will recognize my voice because you are my children to whom the Father's voice is not alien. I speak to you and comfort you, I give you strength and fortification, I enlighten your spirit and give you understanding for the eternal truth, for my word which now flows towards you as soon as you desire it. And I bless you and your will, which is meant for me. But the Father's blessing earns you spiritual progress, you will mature in your soul, you will pass every battle with the adversary, you will overcome the enemy of your souls and emerge victorious, because you constantly draw strength from my presence which you receive through my word. As you seek fellowship in order to hear my word, you seek me and I let myself be found by you at all times. I am with you in the word itself, as I have promised you. I am close to you because my spirit can work in you, because I find hearts which are willing to accept me and open the door of their heart to receive me therein. And anyone who has shaped his heart into love, who has purified it from all faults and shortcomings, I will enter and fill his heart with my love. And he will noticeably hear me and be exceedingly happy. But I can only dwell where love is. Therefore, you should all strive to use the power of my word, to work on your soul and to prepare your heart as a receptacle of my love and my spirit, to cleanse it of all dross and faults and to long for nothing but my presence. When I dwell in your midst, I throb at your hearts and seek entrance. But I can only enter you if you completely surrender yourselves to me, if you completely submit your will to mine, if you live in love and completely live in my order. And that is why I give you my word, that is why I constantly admonish you in the word to return to my order and that is why I impart strength to you so that you can carry out what you are otherwise too weak to do. And therefore I have blessed my word with my strength so that it will overflow into you if you listen to my word, hear it and live accordingly. Then you will be able to accept me in your heart, you will feel my nearness, you will hear my voice and be exceedingly happy already on earth. Amen.